What is going on everyone? Chris with Journos Comics and Pop Culture. Today's video is that one video that I do every year that always gets me excited and I hope you all are going to be excited for this as well. This is the 2023 Journos Comics comic book room tour. Now, we're staring at the wall right now because obviously everything is over here and I'm doing this a little differently this year than in years past. But before I go into it and before we start showing this off, please guys, if you aren't subscribed to the channel, please, please take some time to do so. Check out all the links in the description below as well. And September is the month that I am going to be officially kicking off my 13,000 subscriber contest. So look out for videos that give you guys the details of how you're going to be able to be entered into that giveaway. So look out for that. But without further ado or anything else, we're going to go into this room tour. But one last thing, actually, one last thing, I lied. I'm doing this differently than every other year because in past years, I've actually cleaned this room. I vacuumed, I dusted, I organized all of my comic books because I wanted it to look super, super clean and special for you guys. Well, guess what, guys? This year, we're going uncensored. It's an utter mess in here. And look, it's just how it is. It's my room tour and it's the way it is right now. And I still hope you guys enjoy. So let's get started. Let's take a full bird's eye view of the journal's comics cave this is it now many things very similar still uh from last year of course we're going to take a close-up look too but you guys can see very similar setup to all the shelves over here on the walls this is my transformer wall for the most part we got the star wars wall over here which we will look at and then we got the bulk of comics but guys like I said, it's a mess. So I'm actually going to start. Usually I start over in the pressing station. We're going to start right here. And I'm going to show you guys why it's a mess. You guys see there's books everywhere. Um, we got books and trade paperbacks up here with some more uh, Star Wars figures. One thing that's grown this year is my movie wall. This is my movie wall. You guys could see some of my favorite MCU films on top from Iron Man, Winter Soldier, Guardians... Ragnarok, Black Panther, etc., etc., and then we got some classic movies, some DC movies, and then some classics like Back to the Future, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, E.T., etc., Raiders of the Lost Ark there. We got uh, the TV uh, with some retro games still that are right there that I have not played in a while. <laughs> um, but over here, guys, again, I mean, there is just random stuff. Now, these are comics from my collection comic cards as well there's stacks of books everywhere this is stuff either that i'm sorting through for my own pc which is this pile right here or books to sell i know what everything is by the way believe it or not books to sell this is my station this is the couch where you see me sitting for most of my videos um we got the lights we got the laptop etc now uh i always got books sitting on the table i know what these are uh Big shout out to Raising Hell Comics. That's your Star Wars stack right there. Giveaway books. Giveaway books. More books than I'm pressing and cleaning for the PC. Look at this, guys. Look at this. The greatest comic book in this collection. <laughs> Big shout out to Swaggle Haas. If you guys aren't watching Swaggle Haas right now, you're living in the Flintstone age. Uh, this is his book. Issue number one of Sanity Rise of the Occult. I still have to do a live review of this book where hopefully we can get Swag on uh, to talk about it. So big shout out to, to Swag, man. Really good dude in this community. Now uh, here is the pressing station. We got the two 50 by 15 clamshell presses. There's my Ninja Turtle poster that I had since I was a kid. And then the awesome Marvel drapes that my mom made for me about eight years ago now when, when we made this room and she made those. So thank you so much to her for doing that. They're actually, they are one special part uh, of this room. Uh, books to be pressed. Uh, all these books under here are books to sell. I mean, I got books sitting down here. Guys, believe me, you're like, man, Journo doesn't take care of his comic books. Believe me, I do. Anytime you see books stacked too, um, they don't stay stacked for long and I always... You know, uh, spine on this side, spine on that side, spine on this side, spine on that side. 
so there's never any spine stress. We got supplies over here because this is where I come and sit on my computer and check, um, you know, fair market values when I'm bagging and boarding and uh, getting books ready to sell and evaluating or evaluating grades. Uh, I got random stuff up here. Uh, these are books to sell right here. Just like, I mean, these are random collections that I get that I don't have the time to go through everything. And they just end up sitting in the boxes that I get them in. So I don't even know what this stuff is. This is kind of random. Like I pulled the good stuff and, oh, oh shoot, some more Star Wars books. Hey, uh, these are some slabs that I got that are going to be up for sale. Nova, number one, War of Realms, Agents of Atlas. A lot of great first appearances in there. Uh, first appearance of Hobgoblin, first appearance of Rogue. Uh, another first appearance of Hobgoblin. Um, a random box with packaging material. Uh, these are the Broken Comic Pro, the strip ripped comic pro line bags that i got that were you know just ripping <sighs> i'm not gonna go into that right now what are these oh random true believer books random stuff everywhere guys i'm telling you these are books from a collection that i bought that i just haven't been able to organize yet what do we got in here oh i got like a full run of nova in here that's up that's gonna be up for sale we got some uh tarzan stuff some korak stuff full run of nova Volume 1, Suicide Squad, Punisher books. Torak number 1, yes! <laughs> These are all... Oh, Muppet Babies. I might keep that. <laughs> all kind of cool stuff. Oh, these are mine. See, I'm telling you guys, these are these are my new books that I... Why are these in here? I don't even know. This this is this is the thing, guys. This is the thing. More, more collection books under there. We're not even going to look in there. Um... I'm going to show you how, th this is how crazy, now, I'm not going to get too deep on you guys right now, but I have had a hell of a year, a lot of personal things going on, but <laughs> I'm going to show you how much of a mess I am. Look at this. Oh, I, I made these boxes, by the way. Mod Podge, I got random stuff everywhere. Look, we got Silver Surfer, um, uh, Pence Magazine, UK Magazine. Look at this Star Wars box, Transformer box that I'm Mod Podge, Ninja Turtle box. Look, I got Ninja Turtles everywhere. Look at this. Yeah. I love Ninja Turtles. I need to find a place. I need to put another shelf in here or something. Oh, look, my Star Wars uh, mag special. Uh, for those that don't know, every episode, movie poster. What's up, R2? My best friend. Keeps me company at night. I got a real Yoda hanging out in the house, too, but uh, he's in the other room. All my cool Star Wars stuff and, of course, more random Star Wars stuff up there, including all the Campbell's soup stuff. And as I always got to say, there's my Mike Zek sign, Mindy Wheeler. Big shout out to OMG Chris, who, uh, man, it's past, it's, I can't believe it's been over three years. But uh, he gifted me these awesome Mindy Wheeler uh, art pieces. So, oh, and big shout out to Dale doing the, the Tupac piece, man. Thank you, Dale, if you're watching this. Oh, look, the Transformer uh, Back to the Future mashup. Freaking awesome. Uh, original Empire Strikes Back VHS. These are the special editions that were released in uh, 97, like 20 years later. These, This is the original edition that came out in the 80s. We're going to move on more over here. Over here, So we got Wonder Woman stuff in here. Whenever, like this is my Wonder Woman box. And I just got, oh, this needs to go in the Wonder Woman box. I just set it on here. Look, I got, whoop. <laughs> I'm telling you guys, I'm a mess. Uh, my full, complete run of Thor, Volume 1, right here. And, of course, I do got some Journey into Mystery stuff, um, you know, in the front. But this is all Thor, Volume 1, complete run. 100% complete. Uh, that's all DC Rebirth stuff. Here's my cool chair that I hardly ever sit in. And uh, what's this box? Oh, buddy. My Grail Run. I'll show you guys. Yep. My Grail Run. Amazing Spider-Man. I don't have every book in here right now. Um, some are like to be pressed up. Some are slabbed, of course. And then some are, I don't know, on display maybe. But um, yeah, this is 
This is amazing. Just my Silver Age Amazing Spider-Man box. More of my Amazing Spider-Man stuff is over here. Superman stuff is over there. Yeah, how do I get to anything? I don't know, guys. What, what's in this corner? There's OMG Chris. Collect what you're passionate about. There's the piece that I did for him. The blank sketch that I did for him that he sent off to CBCS. Amazing guy. He is with me always. Awesome, amazing Fantasy 15 poster. What's in here? Keys. Voltron number one. Weapon X. What do we got? Oh, Red Sonya first appearance. Oh, yeah. McFarlane. First Joker's daughter. G.I. Joe number one. Oh, yeah. Hot cover. <laughs> Carnage. Armor Wars. Cameo of Taskmaster. Wedding. A Vision and Scarlet Witch. Lots of goodies in here. Daredevil. Thor. Oh, the Galactus origin books. Strange Tales. Uh, first full appearance of Eternity. Uh, this is a book that, personally, if you guys can find for cheap, if you want to talk about long-term speculation and investment, uh, I don't have any to sell, so I'm not feeding you guys BS. Same with this one. Yep, first li for full Living Tribunal. Anyways, Moon Knight number one. Got my uh, 48 in there. 50. Uh, now, uh, 48. Four, did I say 48, 49? 48 is... Um, Slabbed. Anyways, that's lots of goodies in here, guys. What else we got? Let's go through a few more. Oh, there's that book. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, man. Yeah. And, oh, there's my gold book that's being sent off to EGS. We'll talk about EGS in a minute. Anyways, moving on. All right. This is the unit that I built right here. It's got the standard book shelf case that sits on top of the desk that uh, has basically cubbies. I mean, these top ones are a little more open, but then I think there's, what, 18 total cubbies, two rows of cubbies that go from end to end that fit lawn boxes. These are all lawn boxes in there, and again, 25,000 comic books in this room. Big shout out to Matilda Gothica for drawing that piece. That is uh, a Journos <laughs> pro, uh, Journos portrait right there. Awesome member of this community as well. Awesome, awesome artist. There's my boys when they were little, dressed up as Woody and Buzz. Yep, all kind of Star Wars stuff. Got my Chavo Bozeman tribute. All right, guys, what the hell is going on up here? I'm telling you, I know everything. All of these are books that I'm pulling from my collection to sell. Because sometime last year in the fall, I did a video saying I'm selling off some of my collection. That's still the case. I mean, it's taking forever to even make a dent getting into it. But these are all books that I'm selling from, from my collection. So I got to go into the CLZ app. And um, what's it called? undo, undo them, you, you know, erase them from my CLZ app before I sell them. These are books to be pressed up here. There's some, a uh, few little keys that I got up here. Oh, yeah, we know what that book is. Oh, I got two of them. Oh, got, oh, 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 yeah, look at that book. Oh, this is a big one right here. Two guys, I've been telling you guys about this book for like three years now. Uh, it was supposed to be the true first appearance of Rogue. How she gets her powers as well. Early un, uh, slept on uh, second appearance of Rogue in ROM 31. Oh, there's another one of those. First parent, U.S. appearance of Captain Britain. First appearance of Quasar. Uh, first appearance of all the classic. Oh, there's first appearance of Marvel Man. All right. Man, what else? Uh, DC books. We got Batman stuff. All right, let me tell you. Okay, so first off, let's show the floor that hasn't been vacuumed. Yes, it's a mess. And then we got books over there and over here. So, guy, what is all this? Okay, this is all my PC stuff that I just haven't been able to file away. Some Silver Age um, Daredevil, some 20 Cent Hulk, Silver Age Justice League, 15 Cent... Uh, Amazing adventures, just all kind of stuff up here. Tomb of Dracula. Um, yeah. So, now, what is all this over here? 
Okay, all of this too is stuff that needs to go in my PC that needs to be filed away. Titania. Um, 12 Cent Batman. All of this stuff needs to be filed away. From this box and all of these need to be filed away in my runs. Now, all of this from here and this over is all for sale. That box is got some signed stuff in there. Um, these are my Marvel Now to present Marvel stuff, except for a couple of boxes in here that are for sale as well. Uh, this is some for sale stuff. That's some for sale stuff. Star Wars laser discs. Um, again, more just, and this is all stuff again that is my own PC that needs to be filed away in their proper runs that just haven't yet. Over here, though, these are like my legacy runs. So any silver, even Bronze Age runs. So you got Avengers um, Volume 1. You know that uh, started, obviously, in the Silver Age. Um, down to, let's see, we got Avengers. You know, you got the, uh, I got a complete Black Panther Volume 1 run. Issue number 2 is in my key box champion so any marvel title that um started in either the silver age or the bronze age is going to be in these box defenders number one i have almost a complete run of that there's my daredevil volume one um so and that runs across here because then we got the hulk in here etc etc um even and it goes down around over here and then even over here like this is um, my complete set of uh, or complete run of Warlock Volume 1. Starting with issue 1, I have 2. I have a slabbed and a raw copy. You guys know I love me some Warlock, a.k.a. Watlock. That's an inside joke. So I got a complete run of this. I believe, what is it? 15, 15 issues, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and 15. 15, yep. Then we got some Werewolf by Night. My Werewolf by Night run all the way to What If Comics. And then got Classic X-Men at the end here. Oh, and then you got my Uncanny run starts. Which I still have some keys in my key box. And then, of course, this continues in a long box, though. Yep. So, what else? What else do we have? I mean, oh, look. I did say I was going to shout out uh, EGS. I got some slabs laying over here because I've been showing them off in videos. This beautiful version variant of Miles Morales. Spider-Man number 39 in a 9.6 with that custom black and red label. With the spidey webs in the background in their... Um, uh, Generation 1 proprietary cases that they released last year that are just beautiful. I say they are very, I mean, they're very sturdy yet smooth. And um, they're very on par with CGC cases, except they don't have the separate um, label well, which really, I mean, for CGC, I really love the, the separate label well because it really, you know, allows the label to fit nice and then you know, the well actually pushes in, the plastic pushes in. So, you know, even on older uh, CGC slab books, older generations, um, the label could sometimes warp a little bit uh, in the slab. By the way, first John Ramita on Spidey. Rest in peace to my favorite artist of all time. Second appearance of Rhino. First full appearance of Mary Jane. But, but yeah, I mean, again, guys, if you're not checking out EGS, I do have a link to their uh, website in the comments. There is a code, uh, Canon5, that you can use. That's C-A-N-O-N, right? Yep, uh, 5, number 5, to get 5% off your order. Anyways, so, yeah, and then um, what I do with these boxes, I mean, this is all my DC Legacy stuff. Like, this is my Batman stuff, so... You know, I got my Silver Age um, Batman, by the way, iconic cover. One of my favorite Batman covers. 
Neil Adams, right? Um, anyways, I got my legacy DC stuff. And then at the bottom is New 52. I keep it separate. And then over here is Rebirth to Modern to Now. Some indie stuff along here. Um, but then over here is mostly Marvel stuff that starts either in the Copper Age or later. That isn't 2012 and higher because then those are separate. Yeah, I'm very methodical and I do my thing a certain way. By the way, I do have a complete run of um captain america volume one as well that's a reprint there and then that and then um this is my coverless captain america 100 that i have a facsimile cover on that i made myself let's show that off what do you guys think not too bad not too bad right looks clean uh i do have a 3.5 cgc slab of cap 100 as well but then i have 101 102, et cetera, et cetera, entire complete Captain America run. And in front of Captain America, I keep my tales of suspense for Spirits of Whiplash because um, obviously the numbering, you know, of Captain America takes over after issue 99 of Tales of Suspense. So, yep. Lots of awesome Silver Age goodies in here. I believe this is the second appearance of Mandarin. So, yeah, guys, and then again, you know, this is all for sale. If you guys haven't seen me uh, live, I've been doing IG live claim sales. I am still on Whatnot. If you guys are following me over there, journals, comics, link in the description as well if you're not there yet. Um, I'm basically going back and forth. Usually on Fridays, we'll do a uh, live sell, live auction on Whatnot one Friday, and then the next we'll go over to IG and do a claim sale. That's what I'm trying to do at this point. I still want to do some sales on... Um, YouTube uh, as well. Let's show off, of course, my uh, Transformer wall. I got Transformers over here as well. Obviously a big Transformer fan. Uh, yeah. Transformer, Star Wars, and Ninja Turtles. And then, of course, my uh, Voltron wall. And another big shout out to another amazing... Amazing member of this community that we lost last year, Simon Rodriguez. Um, Simon, basically, I did a video years ago showing off. I think I had the Black Lion in one of the, um, I think I had like the Green Lion. And out of the kindness of his heart, without even telling me, Simon sent me the three other Lions to complete the set. Um, and that's the 1984 uh, retro set. Obviously, the, the re-release that came out a few years ago, but... And um, Simon, you know, he lost his battle to cancer last year. And, um, man, we just, we've lost so many amazing members of this community over the last few years. And it just sucks. But, Simon, you live on uh, on my channel, in my heart, always a part of Journal's Comics, for sure. So, guys... <laughs> There it is. The 2023. Oh, there's Yoda, guys. He is in there. He he talks and walks, by the way. <laughs> I, I forgot that he was actually in the room. Anyways, I, I, let me know what you guys think um, in the comments below. Please, please share your thoughts. Like I said, I just, I didn't, screw it. Screw it. I'm like, why do I need to clean? I mean, if you've seen, oh, what's his name? I forget. One of the first comic book YouTubers I've ever seen. I mean... He, he's amazing, man. He has comic books all over his house, and it's a mess. But that's the beauty of it. That's the beauty of it. Oh, my God. I can't believe I'm blanking on his name right now. Oh, man. Strange. Strange life, right? Guys, I know you guys know who I'm talking about. Anyways, hey, got some baseball cards in here, too. There's Willie, Bobby. <sighs> Appreciate you guys so much. Look, Journal's Comics has been a journey. I'm still here, guys. Like I said this last year, last year was a hard one, but life goes on. But with my head against the wall, learning right from wrong. If you guys quote me who said that and what song it's from, you'll you'll forever be respected in my heart. <laughs> that's that's the prize that you win. But anyways, it has been a rough year, but we push through and we carry on. 
And that's what I'm doing here. And I just, I really enjoy showing, um, you know, getting a little more intimate with uh, Journals Comics, who I am and what I do in, in this, this little piece of me, this little piece of my kids in this little room right here that my dad and I built eight years ago now. And, um, you know, I'll be forever indebted to my dad for, you know, the time and energy and effort that he spent to make this happen right before um, he got sick with um, a disease called PSP, which is similar to ALS. And um, it just, it means, it means a lot to me because we built this room in our garage. And um, yeah, all the memories with my kids, all my memories shared with you guys in this room. It means a lot and uh, we're going to keep pushing forward, so... If you guys want to critique my mess, go ahead and do it. Drop some comments below, guys. Much love and appreciation to you all. Thank you guys so much for watching Journals Comics 2023 Room Tour. Be well, guys. Be kind to yourselves. Be good to others. And until next time.